WhiteCataractCoach.com. White cornea and a white cataract. After trauma, this patient has a corneal scar and a white cataract. Look carefully here. You see, there's a corneal leucoma, there's iris damage, and there is a white cataract behind that little poke of iris. Now, going inside here, you're going to have to dissect off. It looks like there's some corneal adhesion with the iris there. So putting a little bit of blue dye in, here's the viscoelastic going inside the eye. And you may have to break off any of those adhesions there. So there's the spatula. You can see, there you go. Careful there. A blunt dissection is probably a better option in this case. Here's some more viscoelastic going in. May need to put some iris hooks in here and expand that pupil a little bit more to get a better view. And so here's uh, another paracentesis. And let's see the technique. And I'm watching the video for the first time with you. Again, good sweep there with the cyclodialysis spatula to ensure that you've broken off those adhesions here. Now, why would you do just the cataract surgery instead of the corneal transplant too? Well, remember, not everywhere you can get these donor corneas. Ah, there are the iris hooks. Hey, remember about our podcast. I got the top podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason. An hour a week teaching you how to be more successful in your career. Truly, I promise you will benefit greatly from it everywhere where you find your podcast services. Now, here come the iris hooks. You may not be able to get tissue for a corneal transplant around the world. Plus, remember, this patient has a white cataract. What if you just fix the cataract and then see what vision does the patient recover? And if it's sufficient, you're just done. And maybe the patient's been seeing out of this eye with the corneal scar and actually sees decently. So you may be able to do it in a stepwise approach or maybe just do the cataract surgery alone here. So now... It becomes tough. Getting this Rex is done is very tough. Here's where an endo illuminator would help. You had a video here on Cataract Coach a couple weeks ago about an uh, illuminated chopper. That's like putting a little bit of a light pipe here. You can use that in the anterior chamber to get a better view. So here comes the forceps. A little bit of a Jedi mind trick there to get it done. You don't have to visualize it, but look at that. Still got a Rexus completed. Almost done. This is the challenging part here. Oh, using scissors here. So there may be some adhesion on the capsule there. Or maybe that's not such, that's just forceps, okay. No, could be able to comp complete a normal capsule rexus here. That's fantastic. Now, hopefully this is a softer white cataract. Let's see, as you aspirate this out, does it come up pretty easily? Tough part here is the vision for you, the surgeon, is very difficult because you're trying to look through or beyond that central opacity here. So here's where I'd like to get the nucleus chopped up and bring the pieces kind of into an area of the clearer cornea so you can see what you're doing here. But this is a super challenging case. I would not recommend this case for a, a beginning surgeon. A lot of challenges here. So again, I'd also bring the nucleus partially out of the capsule bag. Looks like a chop has been accomplished. Again, it's hard for us to see on the video. It's hard for the surgeon to see during the surgery. So again, a stressful case. Clearly, this is an experienced surgeon. And so removing all that cataract. There it goes. Let there be some light on that retina finally. Taking out that cataract looks good. Be careful. Don't break the bag here. You're going to have a heck of a time doing an anterior vitrectomy with no view. And so as that nucleus comes out, there it is. Chopper in the safe position. I do like that. And now look at that. There is a good red reflex there. Clean up the capsule bag. Looks like a little bit of an extension of the capsule rexus. That's okay. And here at the end, once the bag's cleaned up, putting the lens in the bag. Well, how do you do the lens calcs? Well, you can estimate. Use the other eye, add a little bit for myopia, maybe check this eye. What is the central three millimeter corneal power? That's the main issue here. And then again, I'd, I'd use the lowest K values in that central three millimeters because if anything, it's okay for the patient to end up a little myopic. Plus, with a big leucoma like this in the cornea, patient's really not exactly concerned with hitting that exact refractive outcome. But this is a far better result than before surgery where the patient basically had no useful vision. And now at this point, Take out that viscoelastic, finish up this case. Patient could be thrilled. And if that's the case, you're done. If not, hey, you can always go back and do a corneal transplant later. Beautiful case. Thank you for sharing. Remember, check out our podcast, the top podcast, not all of ophthalmology for a reason.